That's our, our carrots. The first we've got them off, they're just little baby carrots. The chefs like them like this. Even that little one, you know, we'll put on, on something. Uh, typically, that's my favorite one. That's called mokum, and you'll be seeing that in the box. I, here again, the reason I put them in the, uh, uh, have them with the tops is so you know they're fresh and you can use the tops in the pesto like we did. But when you get it, if you're not going to do that, you want to process it so you, so you don't have this, this uh, the carrot tops will draw out of the carrots. So, you know, they, there's a, you, you need to get them off in the first couple days. Uh, a little bit of knife skill kind of stuff I always try to show people is uh, you don't want to hold it like this, you don't want to hold it like, you know, like this, but you want your fingernails if you can. It takes, it takes a little bit of doing. I've actually cut my fingernail off without, oh without, <laughs> when I really move without hurting myself. I mean, it wasn't pleasant, you know, it's like, oh, that's pretty freaky, but so, you know, get them close and go ahead and get rid of the will actually cut into the band and then you know you can set that aside like I said make some pesto out of it you you, uh, you can put a little bit of it in salad is pretty good uh, we've already made the pesto so we're not going to we're not going to do that now I just happen to see <clears throat> speaking of knife work um, somebody made chips out of these things and I had never seen that before um, I would advise making a flat cut on one side first and that's actually what they look like Mm. Okay, um, and the re you can do that so it's flat; it's not rolling on you. And then you know, let's and it actually got a little bit of the stem on it. That I thought was kind of cool. So we're going to make little little things. And then they were using these instead of chips. That last one always gets you. But <clears throat> using these instead of chips on a dip, mm. you know, which I think is kind of cool. So they set it all up. There was a whole bunch. You know, who knows? It could have been. A uh, bunch of stuff could have been these hakari, by the way. Or this is a hakari turnip. Uh, we're gonna have these all the time. This is the this is the way you'll see them. I haven't cleaned these up real well, but um, <clears throat> they are really tasty. Uh, really tasty raw. You can roast them. We'll get into that later. The tops are edible too. They're turnip greens, and they're better than regular turnip greens, I think. But uh, basically. Uh, in that magazine article, they had just made some stuff like this that was, uh, you know, something that you could use as a, as a chip around a dip, and it's better for you. Here we go, fennel, same thing. I would go ahead and I'd, I'd at least process them down, and these fennel are really tasty. Um, you can, this obviously is the herb fennel. You can use it as a garnish on something. You can use it, especially fish. It's so good with fish. And in the Wilmington area, I mean, we should be eating vegetables from us and fish. And a little less pork, maybe. <clears throat> so you can cut the ends, you know, like that and use them. And this middle though is really where, where the action is. And these are so small, I don't, advise doing this again we're hoping for no blood here but um you know that's typically what i do with them is just cut them like that and that's what you're looking for and then i'll mix that you know that in with it and you can saute it uh, once you get enough it's a uh it loses a little bit of that anisey kind of smell to it which but it, it's so good it really surprised me how good they were um Make a little bit of that, put your fish on it. 